Today we're going to unbox the ginormous K2 Plus combo from Creality. Hey there everyone, my name is Dick Gortz and welcome back to Advanced Geekery. Today we are going to unbox this ginormous K2 Plus combo from Creality. Now, just a little while ago, we, re we reviewed the K1 Max, which was one of my favorite printers ever. And this ups the game. It's bigger, and it has four color capability. So we're going to unbox this. Now, one of the things that was a challenge with the original unboxing of the K1 was that it came in a wooden crate that required all sorts of manner of tools to unbox. This unit has these great little snap-out pieces pull out and release, release the top unit. And so I'm just gonna pull these guys out. Now we're going to take this top box straight off. Now I measured, this is 27 inches and I have a little bit more than 27 inches up there. So I should be able to lift this thing off if I can get anything resembling the right beverage on it. Cause it's big. This will be my theme for today is it's big. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind the scenes updates on my projects, and must watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own projects spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part, subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait, click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. All right, I got all eight of those things out of there. Let's see what I can do about <laughs> lifting the box up. This box is actually so big that it's difficult to get enough leverage around it to lift it straight up. There we go. Booyah. Whoa. There we are. All right, kids. That was not easy. I mean, it was a lot easier than trying to remove the um, the wooden version of it. But it's still not easy. I'm thinking this is probably not a one person job. that a little more carefully. We have a toolbox, a screen, a filament roll thing. This is the distributor that distributes the multi-filament and a bunch of cables and things. We'll look at all those later. It's the gloss cover. Inside some cardboard. That's the cover for up here. So now the interesting question is going to be, how do we get this out of this? Multiple layers of cardstock, fairly heavy duty, but this thing is like a hundred pounds. So, do not wish to lift it more than I have to. So we've reached the outer cardboard. So you can reach the inner cardboard. Oh, 
that was fairly satisfying. There's very little actual leverage down here. So I want to try moving this, and my scheme for this is to use these air lifts to crank up the machine since there's almost no leverage, and then little teeny wheels that I'm going to put under each leg and try to roll the thing on the workbench. It's a scheme, but it turned out to work. So see the legs are okay. This is really unfair. Look at where the legs are. We're actually embedded in this. So there's like almost no way you're gonna drag that thing off of there. There's still two layers of cardboard there. But I can get that on a wheel. <laughs> So in theory, this side is on a wheel. Let's see what we can do without getting some of this foam out. some four wheels and not on the phone. So now comes the question of can I get the phone out? All right, the phone, the plastic are out of there. So this is what we're talking about. This is the thickness of the foam that the legs are in that you somehow have to get it over before dragging it across. So now we are on wheels which may or may not work. I'm about to find out. And that part seems to work. <laughs> the last piece coming off the cardboard. <laughs> it is now off the cardboard. I always love it when there's some sort of weird random tool that I get that's been sitting around for a while and that finally has the perfect use. <laughs> I also want to point out that unlike Bamboo Labs, which pushes these things down and it's very hard to peel up, notice that these pieces of tape come pre-folded, so they're very easy to uh, go for Creole. <laughs> Stuff up here. There's more other stone in it. Uh, no. More stone. Can't actually see up there. Here's the inside. And the multi foamed unit, which I do not remember what they call it CMS, AMS, something like that, is right here. And they're being held on by bracket down here. Here, here, and under here, and under here, and then there. Back 
Okay, I think she's coming off. There we go. Success. Take a look at the blue on the end of the screw. That's Loctite. That means it's essentially welded to the bracket, which is why it's so hard to start. Thank you, Crayality Engineers, for that. That was just uncool. Let's go. There we go. Take out the multi foam as Peter, which just comes straight on out as if there were no issues. Cool. All right, now, just in case you're curious, there's more stuff inside, including two more rolls of hidden foam. Yay. All right, so let's get those out. And this thing lives on top of that thing. And it has latches. Open this line back. There we go. And there we go. For those who are curious, I want to take a peek inside. Here's a peek inside. goes in these tubes, which is kind of interesting, but it also has little guy rails up here, which the other ones don't, other little guy rails up here, which the other one's falling out, so that's kind of cool. All right, so that's it. This is unboxed. It's a lot of work. I still have to remove some of the guide rails and undo the build plate holder and set the whole thing up, but it is unboxed. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm stopping. Go out there and unbox something awesome. For Vance Geekery, my name is Data Dortz. Let's try this again. Go out there and make something awesome. awesome.